Hello there, my fellow road warriors. We've got a big one for you today. Lenovo's ThinkPad lineup has long been the notebook standard for the mobile workforce. But with so many different models to choose from, how can you determine which ThinkPad will help your workflow without slowing you down? To answer this very question is the purpose of today's video. We will be looking at five of the most popular ThinkPad models on the market today. The ThinkPad X13 G4 OLED, ThinkPad X13 Yoga, ThinkPad T14 G4, the ThinkPad T14 S OLED and ThinkPad T16 G2. And while these notebooks share a lot of common DNA, they each cater to very different use cases. So let's take a look at a few of Lenovo's office laptops, shall we? ThinkPads are renowned for their build quality, and that holds true across all of these devices. Regarding build materials, the five notebooks are largely the same. Magnesium and aluminium for the base plate and palm rest, and carbon fiber reinforced plastic for the display housing. However, the X13 Yoga G4 stands out here as it has a metal lid, which really helps with the 2-in-1 form factor. The ThinkPad design language is immediately recognizable, and Lenovo doesn't rock the boat with these notebooks. They all come in the same boardroom grey color, which Lenovo calls Enfracid. As such, the notebooks are subtle and don't stand out, instead coming across as highly professional, straight business notebooks. Both the X13 and X13 Yoga break up the design a little bit with a webcam bump on top of the display lid, but this is all the visual flair you will get. The bottom line is this, any of these ThinkPads will be solidly built, will look understated and will be highly portable, save for the T16, which has a noticeably larger footprint than the others but is still easily baggable and offers, as the name implies, quite a bit more screen real estate. Just like the design, the port selection is essentially a copy-paste across all five notebooks. Each of these ThinkPads is equipped with two Thunderbolt 4s, which are also used for power delivery, two USB-A 3.2 Gen 2s, an HDMI 2.1 port, a 3.5mm headset jack and a smart card reader. Those that need a LAN port and do not want to use a dongle should look at the standard T14 and the T16, as these are the only two in our comparison group that have an RJ45 jack. If you want to stay connected while being out and about, all of these ThinkPads can also be purchased with a SIM card slot. If you are fine with a wireless connection, all of these puppies come with an Intel Wi-Fi card, which makes for reliable and reasonably fast wireless speeds. While our benchmarks show transmit speeds aren't as quick as other notebooks, you will hardly stop a meeting because your wireless transfers can't keep up. ThinkPads, and actually business notebooks in general, aren't known for their webcams. And again, Lenovo doesn't bug this particular trend. The T14 and T16 both have 1080p webcams, while both X13 laptops and the T14s bump it up to 5 megapixel variants. None of these are impressive in the slightest, which is really quite a shame in today's age of working from home and your usual Zoom meetings that could have been an email. The T-series ThinkPads though can be purchased with an IR sensor for Windows Hello logins. So this is the webcam and the microphone of the X13 Yoga. And this would be the regular X13. And here we have the T14S. By the way, let me know in the comments which webcam and microphone you like best. And this would be, of course, the regular T14. And last but not least, this is the T16. And again, let me know in the comments below which one of these you would prefer. Another hallmark of the ThinkPad lineup is the keyboard. While the travel distance on all five keyboards sits at 1.5mm, which is a reduction for some models, the well-defined pressure point and great feedback still makes for a solid typing experience. The touchpads in all notebooks have a smooth plastic surface that Lenovo calls class-like Mylar, and they work well enough. The iconic track point is available on all five models, though its associated buttons have been widened and flattened a little bit. Despite the line's history of upgradability, recent ThinkBooks sold their components to the mainboard more and more. And that's mostly the case here as well. While all five ThinkPads have upgradable M2 SSDs, that's basically it. Only the T14 and T16 each have a single RAM slot available to end users, allowing a bit more upgradability in the future. Thankfully, all models have screws instead of glue holding the battery in place. Each and every one of these ThinkPads finally made the jump to a 16x10 aspect ratio display, making them a little bit taller than their predecessors. Each model ships with a standard Full HD IPS display, with the option for a touch panel, though the T14, T14S and the T16 have options for higher resolution variants. The standard display covers about 100% of the sRGB color gamut and is well suited for your average working environment. 
There are two standouts, however. The ThinkPad X13 and the T14s can both be configured with an OLED panel, which greatly improve response times and contrast. However, these come at the cost of PWM flickering. The T14S's OLED refreshes at 364Hz, while the ThinkPad X13 has a fairly low PWM frequency of just 60Hz, which may adversely affect some users. Broadly speaking, the ThinkPads in our lineup have very similar CPUs, ranging from the 12th gen Intel Core i5-1240P up to the 13th gen Core i7-1355U. All these chips offer similar performance and, after an initial drop, stable operation. Overall performance on the Intel side has remained fairly stagnant the past few generations, and that is on full display here. Despite five different systems with three different CPUs, performance is hard to differentiate. And this is good news for the consumers, as you can save some money by going with a Core i5 model and not see a noticeable dip in performance. There is a clear winner in this contest though, AMD. ThinkPads with either a Ryzen 7 6000 or 7000 series CPU offer tangible performance improvements with rock solid stability. So if you can snag an AMD ThinkPad, it's the obvious choice. We have also been able to test Lenovo's flagship X1 Carbon ThinkPad, which is also the first one in the lineup to feature Intel's new Meteor-like architecture, which might just come with minor CPU performance improvements, but a tremendous bump on the GPU side of things. Speaking of GPUs, Intel's integrated XE variants haven't seen much improvements over the past few years. So most of our ThinkPads today are equipped with an Intel XE Graphics iGPU, either with 80 or 96 execution units by default. While these chips are suitable for media processing and light photo work, they will leave you waiting for videos to render and they are terrible for gaming. Lenovo does offer ThinkPads with Nvidia's low-powered MX550, a dedicated GPU which offers a substantial boost in graphical prowess, beating the XEI GPU by about 30-50% in average in our 3D Mark benchmarks. AMD again sits on top as the integrated 780M iGPU tops our benchmarks in almost every test, with the new Arc-powered variant of the X1 Carbon coming in at a close second. One of the benefits of office laptops is their power efficiency and heat management. All of the ThinkPads in our lineup are relatively quiet, with size inversely correlated to fan noise. In other words, the X13s were the loudest laptops in our roundup, while the T16 was the most quiet one. Regarding heat management, only the ThinkPad X13 Yoga causes any concern, with hotspots at the rear reaching above 50C. As such, users should be very careful when doing heavy work with the X13 on their laps. The other ThinkPads get warm in the same spot, but are largely not alarming. Our battery tests provided some interesting results. While the ThinkPads with standard LCDs can last an entire workday with ease, even at high brightness levels, the two OLED models in our contest, namely the X13 and T14S, kicked the bucket after about 7.5 hours in our Wi-Fi web surfing test. Running these notebooks in dark mode will extend battery life, but likely not to a point that can compete with the T16's 11.5 hours. The T16 size helps a lot with battery life, as it can accommodate an optional 86 watt hour battery compared to the 55 ish watt hour variants of the smaller ThinkPads. So, what can we say about the latest generation of Lenovo's ThinkPads? Which one should you choose? Well, the choice is simultaneously difficult and easy. If you look at the performance, port selection, build quality and the input methods, each of these five ThinkPads is almost identical. Thus, the choice comes down to two primary factors, size and display technology. If you need a larger laptop or value battery life, the ThinkPad T16 is a no-brainer. Its 60-inch display offers much more real estate than its little brothers, and its battery runtimes are unparalleled, at least among ThinkPads. If you value portability, the X13 and X13 Yoga are well-built, compact notebooks with good keyboards and performance in line with the larger machines. If you want a colorful display with deep blacks, the T14S and X13 each have OLED panels, though you will trade off high contrast for PWM. So please folks, let me know in the comments below which one of these would be your preferred choice. This should also be it for today. Please leave your like and sub on your way out. My name is Alex, you have been amazing and I cannot wait to see you all in the next one. Take care.